Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So today I'm going to be doing another speed test, and this time it's going to be between the OnePlus 8 and the iPhone SE 2020. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the specs on these phones. Processor-wise, chipset, we have the Snapdragon 865 on the OnePlus 8, and for the iPhone SE, we have the Apple A13 Bionic chipset. RAM we have 8 gigabytes of RAM on the OnePlus 8 and 3 gigabytes of RAM on the iPhone SE. Um, so just by looking off the specs, we can definitely tell that the OnePlus 8 is probably going to be better with RAM management, but we can't say anything for sure yet since we haven't done the test. And something I can say is that Apple does a great job with outputting a lot of RAM. They're able to have great RAM management. So we're just going to see that. If you've already watched my Samsung Galaxy S10 versus iPhone SE video, you'll probably already know that the iPhone SE still does a great job with RAM management. So I guess we can go ahead and start the speed test. First up, as you guys might know, we're going to be doing a boot up test. Both these phones are turned off right now. And so let's go ahead and turn them on. In three, two, one. So at the same time, we start booting them up. Let us see which one boots up first. So iPhone SE right there and the OnePlus 8. So there wasn't too big of a difference, but the iPhone SE did win and it won by around a second or two. So once I turn these phones on, once I open both these phones, I'm going to be going ahead and switching to the app screen where I have all my apps ready and I'll get back to you guys really quick. So I now have both the phones open and ready to go with the first test, um, which is going to be opening up apps and also checking out the RAM management. So let us go ahead and begin. As you guys can see, I have some stock apps, and then, well, the stock apps are down here. It's the phone, messages, app store, Safari, and then the same, the counter of that for the OnePlus 8. And then I have the camera settings. Um, we're probably not going to see a big difference in those since they are the stock applications. One thing I'd like to point out really quick before we begin is that the OnePlus 8 does have a 90 hertz refresh rate screen. And so that's probably going to affect how fast, I guess, you see the animations, which might affect how fast apps open. So let us begin. Let me bring down the brightness real quick here. Okay. And we can start now. So I have my phone and messages down here. For the iPhone, so let's go ahead and start in three, two, one. Very similar. Um, I feel like the iPhone SE did pull up the keypad faster. Let's go to messages in three, two, one. Okay, so that was very similar as well. Play Store and App Store. So Play Store loaded in first. App Store did take a little while. They are both connected to the same Wi-Fi, so we shouldn't see a difference there. Let's go to Chrome and Safari in three, two, one. So Safari did load in this part faster, but as you can see, um, we do have to load in a lot more on Google. So now we can go to settings. And so that was very similar. However, the iPhone SE did look like it loaded in the animations faster. Um, now we're gonna be going to camera. Um, there shouldn't be a too, too big of a difference here. It's just going to be which one opens up the camera first. So let's go ahead and test that out in three, two, one. So definitely the iPhone SE. Um, it was first with opening up the camera. Now let's go to Instagram in three, two, one. So definitely iPhone SE there. Let's go to Snapchat. Same as always, um, I feel like this animation loaded in faster, but the OnePlus 8 animation was a little different. Um, it tends to be different on Android for the Snapchat animation. So let's go to Twitter, OnePlus 8, definitely OnePlus 8 here. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, so OnePlus 8 again, Amazon. One plus eight again. So one plus eight is doing great right now. It's actually beating in most of the apps right now. Let's go to Best Buy. 
So that was very similar. Um, they did both load in an animation at the end down here. So I'm just going to call that a draw. Now we're on to our games. So as I mentioned before, Apple does tend to be better with loading in games first. And let's see if there's any difference with the Snapdragon 865 and the A13 Bionic. Subway. Okay, so gaming mode is on. Let's, so definitely the iPhone SE there. Now let's go back and go to Temple Run. Okay, so we did have a slight thing there, but that was similar, very similar. Um, I am going to take that time off because of that animation for the game center. So I'm just going to call that a draw. Now let's get on to Dead Trigger 2. Again, we have the game center animation. So that was definitely the iPhone SE again. Let's go to play in 3, 2, 1. Let's see which one loads in faster. I think it's going to be the iPhone SE. Yep, so it was the iPhone SE for Dead Trigger 2. Now let's go ahead and open up PUBG Mobile. I hope we don't get that game center animation. If we do, I'm just going to try and cancel it real quick. So we did get into loading first on the OnePlus 8. So we do have a slight download here. Not sure why exactly. They both were downloading something and we just had to reset on there. So let me go ahead and close both PUBG's out for both of them. So PUBG Mobile, we're gonna close that off since we did have a little issue. Now let's open up PUBG Mobile again. I'm not sure why, but the iPhone SE had a bigger download. I just checked these phones just in case so we don't have updates, but for some reason, PUBG Mobile just got another update. That's interesting. So let's go ahead and see which one opens up first this time. So this time iPhone SE is in the loading screen first. We're already loading in for both of them. Okay, so this time one plus eight. One plus eight did beat it this time. Um, in here we went into a match, so I'm just gonna give this to the one plus eight. Now let's go ahead and check out RAM management. Let's just go to our stock apps real quick. Probably not gonna have any reloads here because there isn't much to reload. Play Store, App Store. Nope, still no reloads. Safari Chrome. Go to settings. No reloads. Camera, that's just gonna reopen, so we're gonna skip that. Instagram, still no reloads. Snapchat, Twitter. So we're going great for both these phones. And still no reloads. Both these phones are doing great. Um, not sure that was a reload. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Let's go to Subway. Both of them still resuming. If I can close that off. Temple Run, another game center thing. So no reloads here. That's going great so far. So final two apps, no reloads. And final app, PUBG Mobile. Let's see if we have any reloads this time. And we don't. So it was to be expected. Um, I didn't expect having reloads anyways because I did do the test with both these phones comparing them to other phones. So I already had the gist of it and I kind of knew that they weren't gonna get reloads. However, something might have changed since a couple weeks did pass from using these phones. And that's why I go ahead and do these RAM management tests again. Now, last but not least, we have our Geekbench 5 test. So let's go ahead and open Geekbench and we're gonna be doing a CPU benchmark. Let's go ahead and click that. And in three, two, one. So we started the benchmark for both of these, and once these are over, I'm going to get back to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here, and once this is done, I'm going to be showing you guys the results. So the test just finished, and as you can see, we have the results right here. And from these results, let's go ahead and check them out. So single core score for the OnePlus 8 is 918, and single core for the iPhone SE 2020 is going to be 1,329. So single core iPhone SE definitely beats out the OnePlus 8. However, when we go to multi-core, we can see that it's 3,298 for the OnePlus 8 and 3,137. Um, 
there is a big difference between the single cores. However, there is still a difference, but it's not as big as the single core difference they have. Um, this does tend to happen with Apple's chipsets. They usually have a way higher single core score. However, multi-core, the OnePlus 8 does beat out the iPhone SE. Um, a clear winner for this, comparing it with the app opening times and everything, I'd give it to the OnePlus 8 because it did beat it out on most of the apps. Um, however, if we're just looking at benchmark results, they're actually very similar. Other than the single core, they have a difference. They both win on one side and they lose on one side. So if we were to try and give one of these a win, it would definitely be the OnePlus 8 since it did beat it out on the app opening times. And I guess that's about it. Um, these results aren't always going to be the same for everyone. Uh, it's going to be depending on how much you use your phone, how long you've been using your phone. It's going to obviously slow down over time. So those are going to be in effect when you do get these phones. So this result isn't always going to be consistent. But from the benchmark results, we can see that they're actually very similar and there isn't too big of a difference. So as I said, the winner is the OnePlus 8 since it did beat it out in most of the app opening times of the apps. And I guess that's about it, guys. Um, first up, before I end this video, I'd like to say that once we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing monthly giveaways. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. And also, don't forget to leave a like. It would be great if you could support the channel. So, that's about it. I'd like to thank all my subscribers right now for getting me here to the point where I am right now. And I guess it's going to be a great journey we're going to have together. Hopefully, you guys will still be watching my videos once I do reach 1,000 subscribers. So, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, subscribe, and like this video. And see you in the next video.